Hello, my friends. Welcome. My name is Natasha. If you're new here, hi, hello. If you're old here, welcome back. Um, this is a special class. I had no intention of teaching this class, uh, but I just felt compelled to. I don't know. I didn't. I literally don't have a plan. You usually see me with my little notebook. We're just gonna flow with this one because it feels right. So this is our two 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 Tuesday class. Um, I'm filming this the day before, but so this is tomorrow for me. It is 2-22-22. We will not see this sequence again for another 200 years. Um, so it's a very kind of really powerful manifestation day. And for me, the way I think about manifestation is what have you got to lose? What have you got to lose by believing in something? What have you got to lose by believing that something is possible? Um, by trying your darndest to manifest on that day, you know, even if it's not real or if it is, um, you know, we can still, we have nothing to lose. We can still hope and wish for the best. And this 222 um, represents in numerology balance, duality, you know, it's two, we have both sides. And we are in Pisces season. Pisces season just started. I'm a Pisces, if you didn't know. Um, I think you can see my Pisces symbol up there. But um, we, it's Pisces season. So this is all about dreams and when we talk about the two, the duality, it's kind of our inner world and our outer world. So this manifestation day is all about bringing those two together. So whatever you can visualize in your inner world, take advantage of this Pisces dreaminess, dream out of the box, dream big, dream huge, and just infinite possibilities. Like I want you to dream of like the biggest possibility. Like what if everything went better than you expect? What if everything went even better than you expect it to? Um, and that's kind of what this 222 Tuesday is all about. So <clears throat> yeah. Um, what else did I want to say? So we are going to be tapping into the third eye chakra. That is the chakra that is ruled by Pisces. And it is our chakra of dreams and intuition and kind of, again, that inner world. So we're going to really focus on visualization. Um, we're going to visualize what we want to manifest and feel as if we already have it. That's kind of like the key of manifestation is believing that you already have that thing. Um, so just to share with you my manifestation, if you guys didn't know already, I uploaded a video about it yesterday, um, but I did launch a yoga membership here on YouTube. Um, this is something I've wanted to do for like a year now, but I've been too scared to go for it. And I was just like, you know what, we're going to go for it. My manifestation, my wish that I'm putting out there is that I can hit at least 500 members, a thousand members will be the dream, but there's almost 40,000 of you here so far. Um, so we're going for it. That is my wish. If you'd like to join, there is going to be a 30 day yoga challenge starting March 1st for my members. Um, and then after that, after the 30 day challenge in March, it's going to be a class for every single day. So that's 30 classes, um, for only $9.99 a month. So $9.99 you're getting 30 classes in the first month. So it's like 40 cents a class, I think. And then once that yoga challenge is done, you'll still get access to all those classes for as long as you have the membership. And then going forward every month, there'll be one to two live yoga classes a week, live tarot readings, live new moon and full moon yoga classes and workshops. Um, and just bonus classes here and there. So for example, this class, my members are getting early. They're getting it a day early. <clears throat> so you'll get early access to all my classes as well. Um, but if you'd like to support me and my channel, this is a great way to do it. If you'd like to take some live yoga with me. And of course, if you can't, no worries, no pressure. I will still be putting out free classes here on YouTube. Um, the wind is going crazy outside my window. I don't know if you can hear it, but we're taking it as a good sign. We got that magic going. Um, but all you have to do is click join on my channel or um, it should be right next to the subscribe button. You might not be able to see it on mobile. Um, so I'll put the link in the description box, but I would love to see you there. And this is my manifestation. Like I said, I'm pivoting my business and you guys have been so amazing to me. My YouTube community is honestly my favorite and you guys have been so supportive. And yeah, so I'm putting that out there into the universe that I will have a thousand members of you lovely people and we're gonna make this a really awesome community. So. I want you to drop your manifestation in the comments. Let me know what your wish is. Make a wish. This is this day is all about wishing. Pisces can be very dreamy and kind of, you know, we're like slightly delusional, but this is the time to be delusional. I want you to be delusional about your dreams. Get like dream the biggest possibility that you can think of. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today and manifesting on this day of 222. Two, two. So I've stopped. I'm, I'm going to stop ranting. We've ranted enough. We're going to get started. As always, have any props that you need for your practice. Um, my practice, I offer variations for all bodies, all levels. So grab your props. I have blocks here. You can have a strap, pillow, bolster, blanket, whatever you need for your practice. Now, <clears throat> this will be a quick little practice just to get us visualizing and manifesting. We're going to start with a child's pose. So I want you to bring your knees as wide as the mat. 
I want you to sink those hips back to your heels. And I want you to extend those arms overhead and drop your chest down to the mat. Now the really important thing here is to connect that forehead with the mat. So you're connecting that third eye. Our third eye is right in the center of our forehead and we're connecting it with the mat. You're putting pressure on your third eye. And I want you to sink in here. Bring your focus to that third eye. You can feel it touching the mat. And I want you to bring your awareness to your breath. Just noticing it as it goes in and out. Not changing anything about it just yet. As you inhale, you're filling up the chest, filling up the belly, taking up space. And as you exhale, release and sink deeper into the mat. Continue to lengthen and deepen those inhales and exhales. Now what I want you to do is gently turn your palms upward. So I want you to go from palms on the mat to palms facing up. And we're opening ourselves up to receive. This is kind of a bow forward. We're asking here, you're almost reaching out and asking for what you want here. Make that wish. Open yourself up to receive. If you'd like to say it out loud, say, I'm open to receive good things, or maybe it's something specific, I'm open to receive X, Y, Z, whatever it is. And now as you breathe here, I want you to go inward. I want you to maybe start with visualizing this bright indigo light right where your third eye is, right in the center of that forehead. Bring all your focus there. Just visualize that indigo light right in the center of your forehead. And now that, that color, that light maybe starts to dissipate. And your vision of your manifestation, your vision of whatever it is you want starts to become clear. Maybe you're seeing a specific scene. If you're just manifesting maybe a home, you see yourself in that home, you see the details of that home. If you're manifesting something for your family, if you're manifesting a car, I want you to visualize yourself sitting in that car. If you're manifesting a new business, career, promotion, I want you to visualize yourself in that space. Whatever it is, I want you to picture yourself as if you were there. Let the image become clearer. Picture every detail, even the smallest detail. No detail is too small. So for example, for me, if you know me, my dream is to have a brand new Mustang. It's my dream car. And so if I picture myself there, I can feel the leather, I can smell it, I can hear the roar of the engine. I can see every detail, black car, black rims. Try to activate all five senses here in that visualization. What do you see, hear, touch, smell, taste? I want you to feel it as if it's real. Now I want you to fill yourself up with that feeling, that excitement, that warmth, that contentness, that feeling of you did it, I have it, that warmth that kind of grows in your belly and in your heart and your whole body. It's yours, you have it. How does that feel? Fill yourself up with it. And we'll seal this with a breath. Take a big inhale in through the nose, filling up the chest, filling up the belly, taking up space. And open mouth exhale. I want you to share that energy with the universe. One more big inhale in, and open mouth, exhale, share that energy. On your next inhale, you can gently rise to a tabletop, nice and slow for me. Taking your time to get here, shoulder, elbow, wrist are stacked, hips are stacked over the knees. We're going to invite in some flow, some movement here. I want you to inhale, lift the chin, lift the gaze, open the chest, arching the back. 
Exhale, round. And don't want the shoulders drop, chin to chest. Flowing through our cat cow here. You can inhale, open. And exhale, round. I want you to find flow here. Do what feels right for you and your body. Any movement that feels good. And I want you to keep that visualization with you. Keep it in your mind. Continue maybe to add details. What does it feel like? What does it look like? As you flow here, when we flow, when we listen to our body, we tap into our intuition. We tap into that third eye, by trusting ourselves. The enemy of intuition is self-doubt. One of my favorite quotes. Continuing to flow here for a few more breaths until your body maybe feels a little less stiff than before. You feel a little warmer. Go ahead and finish up this last round. And you can gently come to a seat. I'm going to sit on my knees, but you can sit on your butt. Sit on a pillow block, bolster, anything that feels comfortable. And what I want you to do here is drop your chin to your chest. You know, feel that stretch in the back of the cervical spine and the back of the neck. And I want you to shake your head no here, very slowly, very exaggerated. Chin still pointed down to your chest. And I want you to say, no, I'm not going to block my manifestations anymore. I'm not going to block my blessings with any limiting beliefs or telling myself that I can't. I'm not going to do that anymore. You can say it out loud. No, I'm not going to block my blessings anymore. Or anything you want to say no to here, anything that doesn't serve you anymore. And now bringing chin back to chest, I want you to nod the head, yes. Very slowly, very exaggerated. And you're gonna say, yes, I am open to receive those good things. Yes, I deserve those good things. I'm worthy of those good things. Say it out loud if you'd like. And gently come to stillness. I want you to come back to your tabletop. We'll find a downward facing dog. You're just going to tuck those toes and inhale those hips up and back to the wall behind you. Slowly here with intention. Maybe find some movement so you're pedaling the feet. Maybe shaking the hip, shaking the head. You can keep your feet wide here to honor and make space for the thighs and the belly. Really pressing those palms into the mat. Driving heels down. It's okay if your heels don't touch. Pressing that chest towards the thighs. And breathing here. Come to stillness. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, I want you to step forward into a forward fold. So maybe you take a few baby steps. Maybe take a big old step forward. Come into your forward fold. And just hanging out here, finding release. Again, you can keep those feet wide to honor and make space for your belly. Maybe grab opposite elbows and sway from side to side. Maybe bend into one knee, bend into the other. And ask yourself, have I already forgotten my vision? Have I ever already forgotten my manifestation? Bring it back to the forefront of your mind. Find stillness, bring hands to shins or to blocks. Press into them, inhale for a halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, gently come up to standing. And exhale, those hands through to your heart center. Take a moment here, closing your eyes if it feels good. Bring it back to your breath and back to your visualization. 
Take a big inhale in through the nose, fill up the chest, fill up the belly. And open mouth, exhale. All right, my lovelies. We're standing in our Tadasana Mountain Pose at the top of the mat. You can open your eyes if it feels good. Palms are facing forward. Really active fingers here as if you're shooting power out of your palms. Nice tall spine. Standing tall, standing proud here. I want you to tap into some grounding energy. So maybe lift up all 10 toes and bring them back down to the mat. As we're in Pisces season, we get dreamy and we kind of maybe get too lost in our visualization or our dreams or our manifestation. We want that grounding energy to bring us back down to earth and again, make that connection between our inner world and the outer world. Make the manifestations of the visualizations real. So ground yourself here. Now we're going to flow through some half sun salutes with a third eye tap. We're going to tap into that third eye energy. So you're going to inhale your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the palms together to touch and tap your third eye center. Tap the middle of your forehead. And then you're going to fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come to standing. Exhale, those hands to heart. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, arms up. Touch the palms, tap the forehead, and exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come to standing. Exhale, those hands to your heart. Last one here, inhale, arms up. Palms come to touch, exhale, tap the forehead, and then fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, now we're going to tap into this duality energy, this 2-2-2 two, two, two energy, by doing the same thing on each side and kind of taking both sides of our mat. We're gonna flow through the same poses on this side and we're gonna to go to the other side. So these dates are also palindrome dates. So they're the same forwards as they are backwards. That's the energy we're kind of invoking here for that 222 duality day of manifestation. So standing at the top of your mat, I want you to bring your hands to your hips. You're gonna bring your right foot forward to the center of the mat. <clears throat> And you're going to step the right or the left leg back. We're finding our warrior one here. So your right knee is going to bend over ankle. Back foot is at a 45 degree angle and flat. And then I want you to square your torso off to the front of your mat. And I want you to inhale those arms up when you find your stable base. The stable base is what keeps us grounded. And breathe here. I want you to inhale here, exhale, bring the palms to touch and draw that prayer hands to your third eye center. Tap the forehead, make a connection there. And again, tap into your visualization. Have you lost it already? Bring it back. Inhale here, exhale, open the arms and the legs. We're opening up to a warrior two. So I'm going from closed off hip to open hip. Might need to widen the stance a little bit. Knee. Front knee stays over the ankle, arms are extended, gaze over your fingers. Finding power here. Now inhale, you can straighten the leg and exhale, release. We're gonna to come to center. So you're turning your toes to face the long edge of your mat. We're coming to our center pose here. We'll take a wide legged fold. Inhale those arms up, exhale palms touch, tap that third eye center, and exhale fold. Now you can do what feels good here, maybe bend into one knee, bend into the other. Maybe shake out the hips, maybe reach for the feet or reach in between your legs, whatever feels good. If you'd also like to play around with 
maybe heads down here. You totally do not have to. Just offering this as an option. You can widen the legs and try to make that connection with your head down to the mat, or I'll maybe try to tap your forehead, that third eye to the mat. You don't have to go all the way up into a headstand. It's just a fun way to get inverted here. Now find stillness, bend into the knees, bring hands to hips, and inhale, rise. Now we're gonna take the same sequence, but reverse to the back of our mat. So starting with our warrior two, you're turning those left toes to the back of your mat. Wide stance, bending into that left knee, arms come out, gazing over the left hand. Find this powerful warrior two here. Now inhale here, exhale, start to shift for your warrior one. So I'm turning to face the back of my mat, maybe stepping a little shorter. Back foot comes to a 45 degree angle, still bending into that left knee, squaring my torso, closing the hips. Inhale those arms up, warrior one. Inhale here, exhale, palms to touch, maybe tap that third eye center in your forehead. Inhale here, exhale, step and release to the back of your mat, shake it out. All right, my lovelies, we're gonna take it back down to our mats. So just inhale, arms come up. Exhale, palms to touch, don't forget to tap that third eye and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, plant the hands. I just want you to step back one foot, the other, nice and gentle just to come down to your mat. We're gonna take a seat just on our butts. Now you can grab your blocks here. If you'd like, we're gonna use these to tap into our third eye. Or if you don't have blocks, you don't wanna use blocks, you can also use your hands. So I'm gonna grab my blocks. Now I'm gonna to come to a Baddha Konasana bound angle pose, so I'm opening up my knees, feet, bottoms are together to touch. Again, a little bit into the hips here. Now your goal is you're gonna tap your forehead to your block, or again, if you just like to bring your hands to that third eye and hang out here, that is also an option. We just want that pressure on the third eye. Inhale, arms up, straight spine, and exhale, you're going to fold. So either tapping that third eye with your hands, or you can also stack your blocks to touch your third eye to the block here. I don't want you to force it, right? I don't want you to super round into the spine or force yourself to fold really deep. Listening to your body here. Again, you can use your hands. And as you're folded and you're tapping into that third eye, I want you to visualize. Visualize that thing that you're trying to manifest. Maybe it's not one specific thing. Maybe it's your dream life your highest self, your favorite self. Try to release any supposed to's or should be's and allow it to be authentic and truly you. What you want, not what others want. Inhale, gently rise. Exhale, release. We'll do the same thing in a wide-legged fold. So bringing your legs out wide. doesn't have to be super wide. Whoever feels comfortable. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Again, bringing your forehead to those blocks or using your hands here. Tapping that third eye. Breathing here. And focusing on that visualization. Inhale, gently come up and exhale, release. We will gently transition back to our child's pose. We will end this class where we started, so taking your time, 
come into your child pose. Now you can lay on a bolster or a pillow or a blanket. If you'd like to really get comfortable, I encourage you to stay in this pose for as long as you'd like, as long as you'd like to visualize. If maybe you're like, I don't really like child's pose, you can always take your regular Savasana, your corpse pose. And I would recommend putting a crystal right on your third eye. Labradorite is personally the best crystal for Pisces season. As a Pisces, that's what I recommend. But you can put any crystal there. Or if you'd like to join me in child's pose, knees are as wide as the mat, sinking hips back to heels, extend arms out, drop chest and forehead to the mat. I want you to reconnect here with your breath and with your visualization, with your dreams, with that dream life. Again, maybe picturing at first that warm indigo light radiating from your third eye, just allowing that color and that light to kind of fill up your mind. And then allow that to dissipate and the image of your dream gets clearer. Whatever it is you're manifesting, the picture starts to clear up like it's coming into focus and you can see it as if it were real and it feels it as if it were real and you fill yourself up with that feeling. Again, maybe turn those palms over and open to receive. Breathe deeply here. And you can stay here for as long as you'd like. This is where I will leave you for class today. I encourage you to spend at least five to ten breaths here visualizing and breathing. Don't forget to drop in the comments. Claim that manifestation. And if you'd like a 30-day yoga challenge in March, you can sign up for my membership. Either way, I will see you for the next class, my lovelies. Have a wonderful 222 Tuesday, and I will see you next time.